Welcome back and thanks for tuning in. Funny thing about this little project is I hadn't intended for it to take anywhere near as long as it did. I thought I would put uh, together a relatively quick little miter jig and then I'd be able to add in miter joints uh, with and without dowels into my strength tests and it just seemed to go on forever. I first built one jig and then I ended up discarding because I didn't like the way it looked. And then I built this one and then I had to make a fair number of adjustments to it to get it to the point where I was happy with it. And I think we're there now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out where I want to drill the 45 degree hole through this. And I'm just going to set this up with, uh, well, an angle gauge here. And uh, this is the height I like because it's going to be roughly through the meat of the joint. And I'm just marking where that is. And then I set it up on my mill. And also I'm still testing this out. This is the digital gauge I picked up. Uh, it seems to be pretty accurate and only off by 0.1 of a degree from time to time in its readings. Uh, so I'm, like I said, I'm going to keep using it every now and then to give you guys uh, you know, a visual representation of how it's turning out. And then of course I'm going to set it up properly using the proper angles and blocks and stuff. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drill down through this. I'm not going to show it all to you because my hand keeps getting in the way, but I am going to Drill down through that so that the drill bit is just getting to the point where it is about to pass through the insides. I don't want it to go all the way into there because then it will interfere uh, with the miter joint that I'm going to set in this V-block. Now one of the problems I've ran into at this point is the hole is way too deep. It's seated so far down I was concerned that I would not be able to retrieve these, uh, well these are the brass ones I made, the inserts. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take one side of this and I am going to, well, just chop it off so that I can uh, have a much uh, smaller hole and then I can seek these in properly. And I think it took about two passes to get to where I was happy with it, where I was con confident that I can get the thing out and then uh, we're all good to go after that point. So I'm going to do one more little cut here, I think, uh, on camera. And there you go. These are bottomed out and they're not uh, you know, passing through the other end. So now we're finally ready to do the strength test. So what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to set up the miter joints, which is, as far as I'm concerned, a strike against it because I can't do this all in one go. It has a two-stage process. I'm going to put the glue on here and then I'm going to stick uh, the pieces together and I have to let that set. As you can see, there's a bunch of squeeze out here, and that squeeze out will interfere with the jig for uh, drilling the holes. And so I have to, like I said, let this set first, and then if I'm doing this as a project, that means I have to do a fair amount of the project first before I can uh, set in the dollar picks. And that's, like I said, it's going to add an awful lot of time to any given project. And as far as I'm concerned, like I said, the more time I need to spend on something, there better be a fair amount of payoff for it, and I don't know if there's going to be yet. So, to make this fair, what I've done is I've pre-glued uh, the 90s as well. And I've never done that before, so it's going to be kind of interesting to see how that works out. I'm going to set those two aside. Uh, one's the miter, obviously, and one's the 90. Uh, and we're going to see how that all uh, works out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you uh, the drilling process for the miter. I'm not going to bother showing you the process for drilling the uh, the regular 90s because I've you've seen that many times. Uh, this, I don't want to make this video too long. So I'm going to set this up and then I'm going to drill the hole. And the thing I like most about this at this point is I really like these inserts. Uh, they're very stable. They're very easy to put in as you can see. And they guide the drill bit very, very well. And the other thing I want to mention at this point is this is the larger of the two uh, drill sizes. I did not want to go pounding uh, through the well the joint with the miter because uh, it is at a 45 and I figured out what it might end up doing is damaging it. So I'm only going to do the one for this and uh, we'll see how it all works out and decide where to go from there afterwards. So that's all done. Those are no longer necessary because uh, these are always set up so all I'm going to do is just going to mark them with the ruler and a couple pencil marks and then I'm going to drill uh, the holes and set the picks. So there you go, that is the 90. Uh, this is, as you said, 730 seconds. And then these are the 1564. So there's two of them. Uh, they are the larger of the drill bits, so there's more glue around it. And hopefully that will end up making a difference. So let's get on to actually the tests themselves. 
The first step of which, of course, is to just knock off the corners here so that I have a nice flat surface to, to put the clamps on. And I do apologize, uh, these strength tests are going to be anecdotal as well because, like I said, I can't afford the uh, force gauge that, well, is, you know, accurate and um, can measure in the kind of forces required to break these joints. So I'm going to knock these off and then I'm going to put them on the clamp and we're going to get to the tests. So first thing I'm going to do is I am going to do uh, the 90 only. Uh, all it is is just glued and this is the same as the one before except now um, the gluing process is done a little bit differently because of uh, trying to make it the same as the miter. And the funny thing is, is it snaps so easily. I was actually really, really surprised. I didn't expect it to have uh, much strength because it didn't last time but it seemed to be considerably weaker. And this is the miter joint, and this is about the same kind of strength that it took last time to break the 90. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this is uh, actually a stronger joint, which is interesting. Uh, not, again, yet strong enough to make it worth all the extra effort to go to, but anyway, we'll see uh, as these things progress. So this is the larger, this is the 90. And again, this is actually a really large surprise for me because I found that there was really hardly any effort to this at all. And the gluing process, again, is considerably different than what I normally do. And it just immediately snapped. And the other thing about it is, when, even though this is the larger drill bit size and there should be more glue around it, uh, as, I, as I pull here, you're going to see in a second, it just comes apart. Uh, again, like I said, uh, surprising. Uh, I do want to continue doing some of these tests. Uh, if I find uh, an answer to the reason for this, I'll let you know. But as far as I'm concerned so far, is it just seems to be uh, the process I went through for this, and I don't think it's well, I don't think it's accurate to tell you the truth. So this is the ninety. Uh, sorry, the miter uh, with the fifteen sixty fourths and. The glue seems to work out a little bit better in holding in the pegs, uh, but it snapped quite easily as well. Uh, it might just be the wood I chose, I'm not sure. Uh, this is definitely something that I'm going to continue to work on. If I come up with something definitive as far as strengths go, I will definitely let you know about this, but again, I'm not very happy with how this all worked out, same as last time. Um, but as far as it goes, from what I can tell going forward, it looks like the larger drill bit size is the better way to go. And as far as uh, doing miter joints, even though they are stronger, I'm not sure they are worth the extra effort as far as what it takes to set them all up. As you can see, this one here worked out quite well. Anyway, thank you very much uh, for watching. Leave comments, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video. And bye for now.